guys, welcome back to another Bodhi Kashyyyk weekly segment. Um, so this week, guys, you actually already may notice that the camera is not really pointed towards Kashyyyk, only because um, I, uh, I did some pretty cool stuff this week. And you definitely need to watch the entire video because we go through a lot of different cool models I made. Um, we also finished the Kashyyyk wall and, well, I think you should just see it for yourself before I spoil it for you. So without you guys, go ahead and check out the video, some pretty cool stuff and I think you're all gonna enjoy this week. Thank you very much for watching, and let us go into the video right now. All right guys, so um, I'm working on finishing the Kashyyyk wall at the moment. It's looking just about done, um, but before I put uh, these things on to finish it off, I wanted to show you um, how I kinda did the uh, little pipes here, the things that are under here. I wanted to just show you how I did it, and it's actually very simple. But it still does require some, I just wanted to show you how, how it kind of works, is you do need to like bend the pipes. Um, you can kind of see that here, I kind of bent it um, in order to make sure that they stick on here and they don't break off. Same goes with like over here for example. Um, you can see that I like bent the pipe and everything right here and it works pretty well. You can see another one right here and that is how I did this. So I just wanted to show you that. And then right here, I, I just cut this off. I just cut it with some scissors. Um, and then actually, conveniently, when I cut this one off, this was the exact length I needed on this side. So I only had to use three of the pipes. So use your extras. Um, so let me go ahead and finish this off, and we'll take a look at the final Kashyyyk wall. All right, guys. So here it is. There is the Kashyyyk wall. And uh, I would say it's pretty much finished. I don't really think there's much more I need to do. Uh, I think it looks pretty fantastic, in my opinion. Um, really great look to it, actually. Um, I think this is even better than our original concept that we had started all the way back in December. And uh, here it is, finally uh, finished off, for the most part. Um, maybe I'll add a few more details in later, but... Uh, like a like a ladder or something like right here, but other than that It's pretty complete and looks pretty darn awesome, too um, You know it looks pretty great So really cool design really ended up looking really cool like I said guys work with your designs You know it might look funky like this by itself might look funky multiply it whole bunch it looks pretty darn sweet now doesn't it um so yeah Kashyyyk wall is, is looking great and um yeah it's it's pretty cool um so there we go uh so we'll go ahead and move on from here guys all right guys so <clears throat> i uh i've kind of decided that i i really want to build uh some more Kashyyyk like uh Wookie structures on the mountain to give it some more character um, and, and kind of blend in with the whole Wookie environment. Um, so I've started experimenting on ideas of where it would probably go about where um, where this top area leaves off right here is like kind of like a another like another kind of thing that we did here, you know, the whole walkway thing, uh, except branching off the mountain. Um, so I've already started experimenting on ideas and so far I have this um, This right here show you a better look um, So it actually it looks pretty good actually so far can't really complain I'm building it on the green base plate uh, that way I can just get the idea out on my head uh, get get the idea out of my head and onto the uh, the build uh, so far and so I just want to show you this before I started really getting in depth with it of kind of how I start off with a, a scratch design it's got that real curvature look and I think it's going to turn out pretty well uh, just from the beginning look that we have already so you know if you can imagine like uh, this um, over there on top of that then uh, yeah so you, you can see there's a nice curve going on here and all that stuff I think it looks pretty good um, so we're just going to continue on out from uh, from here. So we'll see what happens. So guys, um, we've basically finished it. Uh, so here's what it looks like. The finished product. Um, actually really like the finished look. It looks really great actually. 
um, incorporated that uh, dark gray that a lot of you had uh, mentioned on the Kashyyyk wall saying that the, the, the dark gray really worked well with uh, with the brown. Uh, it acted as like the metal that bonds all the, the wood that the Wookiees like build and stuff. Um, now technically it's kind of like a chrome color, but I think the uh, dark gray works just as great. Um, it really does complement it quite well. Um, and uh, honestly, I really, really like this. I mean, this looks really, really great. Um, just taking a look at it. Let's see, I have a lot of uh, tile kind of thing going on here. Kind of uh, slowly slopes and then kind of comes up. Now, uh, the fact that this is like sort of half, uh, half like... Uh, uh, tiled and studded right here is just because I need to order tiles I only have like these one by four tiles I need to order um, special size tiles um, to fill in the rest which will happen um, just for right now this is temporary where it'll all be like this um, it'll all eventually be tiled on the top uh, but anyhow this looks really awesome if you ask me I couldn't ask for a better structure um, Taking a look at the back, that's what it looks like on the back. You can see a lot of plates were used to uh, to build this. Um, so yeah. Overall, great design. Um, I can get Commander. Oops, another piece fell. Whatever. Um, put Commander Gree in here. Um, this Commander Gree that I have is not the lego one it's using the lego helmet uh, but this is my minifix for you the, the entire body and, and legs are completely custom um, so I've just basically taken the lego helmet and put it on my own figure um, and I think it's a pretty good ma match and I, this is probably what I'll use in the uh, ending Kashyyyk but anyhow putting him in here looks really great minifigs look awesome in this structure and this wall is going to kind of mesh into the um, into the uh, the mountains, um, and it'll look really cool. And I love this design so much that you know I was just really really pleased with the whole look of it. It really looks great. Um, now you might think, oh, why is it kind of like flat right here, kind of like bare looking? You have to imagine that the mountains are. This is a blend, and this has to be blended into the mountains. So the mountains are going to be like coming on up, like right here. So it'll, it'll trust me. Like when I say it'll blend well, it will blend well. Um, the mountains will really blend in, and this will re really, really look good once it's receded into the mountain. Um, but yeah, uh, I like it so much that heck. I already started building another one. Um, so yeah, I'm almost done with the second one, but there's what two of them look like now. They look really cool when you start making multiples, am I right? <laughs> um, so yeah, really liking this design. Um, you can kind of just see what I did uh, to kind of build it. It's not too hard. Just involved a lot of pieces, a lot of brown pieces, but I've had a lot of uh, spare pieces, so I've wanted to use them. And this is a great way of using them. And I'll show you guys, once I'm done with this one, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to do with these. Um, and show them where they're going to be uh, put. So, very exciting. Um, they look great. So, yeah. Front and back look. They look really cool when you put them side by side as well. So, yeah. Very happy with the whole look. They really look great. Let's see some detail. Again, that dark gray just complements it so well. Alright guys, so let me finish building this and then I'll show you what they look like on mountain. Alright guys, so um, I took the two structures and I went ahead and um, put them on the mountain. Uh, to give you guys an idea of what they would look like on the mountain. Um, so this looks really cool actually, uh, seeing this. So let me clarify some things. First of all, there's not going to be green base plates. There's not going to be temporary holders like that. There's going to be better looking bridges than that. It's all just temporary. These are not permanent. 
it's all temporary just to give you guys an idea of what I have in mind um, so I took the two structures first of all it might look a bit weird right here on this part um, same right here on each of the sides right here it kind of looks like it just I don't know looks a little flat I guess you could say and that's because you have to imagine these rocks right here are going to be coming up above the side so it's gonna you have to really you gotta have a good imagination here you gotta see the rocks kind of like these pushed into this rock wall right here the the mountains see them pushed into the mountains right here like you can see uh this i put these uh, things right here to give you a height of where how tall the mountains are going to be across so i'll give you a, an idea of how where this will be centered and located at and now this itself I think by next week I'm actually going to just put it right here. I'm actually going to take some of these bricks out. This is going to go down a little bit lower than it is right now. And it's going to be attached right into here. Um, so by next week that will be actually attached in. Um, and that one will probably come later. Um, now why did I build them on the green base plate? Because it's uh, uh, the reason why I built the green base plate is because I, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't want to just start building on the mountain and end up with something really crappy. I wanted to put my ideas out on a base plate and experiment and I actually had created two other versions before I got this uh, version where it looks just really great especially when you go on a side angle here these look awesome especially they really blend in with the tree well like if you can see like imagine these mountains between these uh, structures right here with that tree fully done it's gonna look pretty fantastic um, so yeah, these structures really look great. Um, I can't really complain really. Um, now, the reason why I put this bridge here is because there's gonna be a bridge from here, this point, connecting to here, connecting to the tree. They're all gonna be connected. Um, and that's actually referring off to um, wherever I put my sketchbook, here it is. Uh, referring to my sketchbook where I was doing some of this stuff right here um, and I had no idea what I wanted to do there but now it's very clear on what I want to do and uh, now you can definitely start seeing that um, vision I kind of had in mind um, so when those when the mountains come across all the way over here and we start building on that end and we start putting the we start actually putting these things into the mountains you're gonna be like damn excuse my language but it's gonna look pretty cool <laughs> Um, I'm very excited uh, to, to the final result of what these structures right here are looking to be. So very cool. I'm um, very excited to show you this to you guys. I'm going to take this down, uh, both these structures down. Like I said, I'm going to put the, this structure actually into the mountain wall. And I might actually start building some mountains on this side because I got another Bricklink order. And that is what I'm going to show you next. So very quickly, I just want to show you the Bricklink order I got this week. I literally got it um, today, being Friday, the day this video goes up. You know, these weekly segments go up every Friday. Um, so I wasn't able to really utilize much of the bricks. I was able to utilize some of the bricks, which I've... I, there's a couple bags that aren't... That came with this order that are over here that I used. You may have noticed, if you're really keen on the eye, that I removed the black that was on this wall and built it a little more sturdy so it could hold up that uh, structure right there. But anyhow, um, what I have going on here is a lot of stuff for the inside of the base that we're gonna touch on next week, like all these control panels. Um, I got a lot of different ones. I got a bunch of these, because these these are Star Wars control panels, so I assume those would look best. Um, these three right here originated from Star Wars sets. Um, and I, you know, I got a whole bunch of them uh, that we can work with. Now I'm also gonna have some custom ones that I'll make myself, um, but these are really good for ones that uh, we, we'll just use at the moment. Now you also see I have a lot of dark red. I saw this piece on Bricklink and it was really cheap and uh, the guy had a lot of them. I was like, you know what? I bet I can use this some way. So I'm sure on the inside of the base we'll be able to utilize all of this dark red um, and that'll be very exciting. And then I finally got some more of these pieces more of those and those to uh, continue the rocks or the mountains I should say so um, I can continue those uh, into next week so very exciting I have more parts ignore these figures right here they were just there um, anyhow so that's it um, and then also this stuff right here 
these things are for holograms. Uh, so like you can, you know, the, these will be right here, kind of with these, and I'll may, maybe put like Emperor Palpatine, <laughs> it'll be Order 66. Who knows? Um, so I, I created like, these hologram dishes. You'll see the design I have in my mind um, later. But that is the Bricklink order I got. Um, there's a couple more, some bricks. I don't know if you can see that bag. I'll zoom up right there. Um, some more bricks I came with the order that you just generic bricks uh, that I can use for more building. But guys, that's going to be it for this week's segment. Um, just wait for next week, guys. We're going to continue on doing even more cool stuff. So let's end off the video. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed that. Um, so like I said, the cool structures on the mountain, um, the Kashyyyk wall being finished, um, the Bricklink order. Sadly, the Bricklink order came in today, conveniently. Uh, if it came in yesterday, I might have been able to use the parts for uh, working on the back section. Uh, sadly, I didn't. That didn't happen, so can't really do much about that. Uh, but the the, the 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 structures that are going to be embraced into the mountain, I think that's going to be really cool. Um, and I think you know, for some of you who might think it looks a little funky at the moment. Um, trust me, when it's when when those uh, when those structures on on the that are on top of the mountain at the moment. When you see those like kind of just kind of rock walls just go around it, it's gonna look. It, it just comes out and pops out of you. I guarantee you're gonna love it. I guarantee you. Um, now for the bridge, the really crappy bridge I made. Um, trust me, I'll have a lot better one later. Um, it's just really temporary, just to give you guys an idea of what I have in mind. Uh, but the way the way the outside of Kashyyyk is looking right now is exactly how I envisioned it on paper. Um, so it's it's looking really great. Now I did um, think about doing a third structure, but I had asked two friends who who came over over the last week, and I asked them I was like, all right, what do you think? Should I should I put two or three? Because I wanted two definitely. And a lot of people said, well, if you put a third, it'd be behind the Kashyyyk tree. And I was like, well, I guess you make a point, but wouldn't it look cool anyways? He's like, nah. Um, it just you know the Kashyyyk tree would hide it, and you know not not many people really notice it. So and, and if you try to squeeze it in the middle, it just looked overcrowded. Um, so that's why I ended up doing two. Um, so yeah. Uh, as for next week, guys, since I have this Bricklink order, I can continue with some mountain building, mountain wall building. But I I won't do too much because I you know doing just that section was a lot of work, and it's. I'll be honest, it's not as fun as building some of the other structures. Like building the Kashyyyk wall and building the uh, the structures that are going to be embraced into the mountain, those are fun to do. Um, but when you're building repetitives, like technically repetitive, but just gray rock formations, it gets pretty boring over time. So I enjoy doing a lot of the other stuff more than the rock walls, but hey, you got to do it eventually as much as, uh, as not, as, as least fun as it is, you got to do it. It's, it's like a job, technically, but I, and I think the, the result of building the mountains is, is a really great result. So I think it's worth it, the time I spend into it. Um, but yeah, so next week will be really cool. Um, and yes, next week will happen. I will be putting a video on the 4th of July. Um, that's only because a couple weeks after that I'll be taking another break, but that's when that comes. Uh, but anyhow, guys, that's it for this video. Bit long, but hey, showed you... <coughs> Excuse me. I uh, showed you some pretty cool stuff, and um, that is going to be it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in next week's segment. Uh, give this video a big like if you love the way that Kashyyyk wall looks, or maybe you like the structures I built. You know, the like can really help, and it shows everybody to uh, to actually definitely watch the video. Uh, likes when there's a lot of likes, a lot of people ask, "Why do you want so many likes, dude?" Because the like bar really just signals to the person whether they should really watch this video, really shouldn't. Um, so that's why it's really important to me that everybody uh, hit the like button. So anyhow, and uh, definitely subscribe, guys, because that basically allows you to see the rest of the Kashyyyk progress. So definitely hit that button down below. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's segment. Everybody, you have a great day. Thank you very much for watching, and bye bye